Hey guys, welcome to another kettlebell workout of the week. I have my good friend and fellow AIK founder, Tarek here. I'm gonna inflict some punishment on this man. We have the Assassinator Part 1, one of our most popular workouts. What you don't know is that I completed that workout, but only Tarek stuffed it up in the filming. So this is my opportunity for revenge. I created a part two just so we could film it and I could make him do some work. Anyway, enough talking, let's see more doing. Just to recall, assassinator, five exercises. We're gonna use a single bell for all of them. We're using a 20. I asked him to do a 24 and he cried. So 20 it is. All right, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're gonna do five exercises. Four loops through, that's 20. You don't, that's all you get is that 15 seconds off. We're just gonna do one full loop for you so you can see what it's like. All right, so the first exercise is alternating swings. Before we start, I've got my trusting little boxing timer here, great little lap. We've got five seconds on the dinghies off and uh, you can see that countdown and showtime, boy. That's it. So we've got 45 seconds of alternating swings. Uh, you can see Tarek is keeping his breath nice and steady, nice rhythm, passing at the top as he's moving through. The beauty of this workout, 20 minutes, full body, absolutely toasted at the end of it. So it's superb. How are we going there, champ? Not too bad. Yeah, 20 seconds to go, mate. 20 seconds to go. This is the most work he's done out in a while. Uh, I can tell you that much. He's upstairs eating before I had to actually grab him and make him do a little bit of work. All right, so the alternating swing, nice big hip dominant movement, really powerful, really good form from the man himself. He's gonna put that down, he's got 15 seconds to rest, recover, probably stare me out and uh, threaten me because I know I'm in for it later on. rest. <laughs> all right, so the next one's our goblet squat. All right, so we've got 45 seconds of the goblet squat. Uh, you're on champ, uh, so you can see he's just gonna get that up. Now there's a few different ways you can do the goblet squat. This is uh, just holding it by the bulb. You can hold it upside down. The thing is that it's a front-loaded squat. And this is just aside from this workout, this is one of my favorite exercises. What it does is it just keeps you very upright. It really is a great squat for teaching good form and technique. I like the man's squat. He's pushing his knees out on the way down. He's squeezing his glutes on the way up. He's getting great depth through it. Uh, tracking and everything is nice. It's nice and symmetrical through the hips there. It's a good looking squat. It's a good looking tempo. You've got five seconds left. And there we have it. That's the goblet squat. Next one. Now I reckon this one's going to test him. All right. I reckon these guns are for show. Let's see if he's actually got any, anything in them. All right. It's a cross push up. So we put that bell down. I'm going to move aside. So really what you're doing is you're replacing the hand on the bell. So you start here and you just switch your hands and come across. Right, he's gone out fast, he's gone out hard. So you've got this uneven push up, you've got to stabilize through the other hand. Again, Tarek's demonstrating perfect technique with that push up by keeping that elbow in nice and tight, all right, which is really healthy for the shoulder. He's got a nice spine, he's not duck tailing or anything like that. So he's really strong in his core and he's working hard. How are you feeling, champion? Working out. Oh yeah, working out. We're gonna start seeing the famous Tarek beats of sweat any time now. Uh, I'll probably need a mop and a bucket because this will be a slippery hazard in a moment if he keeps going at this pace. He's got a few more seconds left on this. He's three rounds in. You can imagine what 20 feels like, 20 rounds. All right. There they are. There they are, there they are. All right, next one is our rack reverse lunges. Now you can alternate the sides you rack it in from round to round and we're gonna alternate the reverse lunge, all right? So give both sides a nice, even workout. You got it there in the rack position, he's gonna come down and, uh, and come up. Just a nice steady te tempo on this one. Make sure the elbow's not clearing, make sure the chest is up, make sure you're looking straight ahead, make sure tracking's good, all those little things that you guys as uh, experts know, all right? So what we've done is, this is quite a leg heavy movement uh, training program. We've had swings, hip dominant, we've had squats, uh, really knee on it. Now we've got a hip and knee exercise. So your lower body is going to know about it. We did do the push-ups in between. We've got some ski swings coming up next, which are going to be a real treat. And he's doing mighty, mighty well. He's got five seconds left before he moves on to our final movement. There we go. Last 15 seconds, mate. 
you're almost there. Now, we're using a 20 today. As I said, 20 to 24 is really going hard. Uh, he's got skitty swings next. Uh, but look, start off on an eight if you're a female, 12 if you're a male, and work your way up from there. There's the big air horn for our last round. All right, so we've got our big ski swing, and this is just textbook technique. Uh, you can see that he's really popping through the hips. He's not letting it go too far around. He's keeping the hands nice and close. He's getting nice extension through the hips. Whilst there's some rotation and we're moving into different planes on this exercise, and that's why I selected it, he's still powering it very much from his hips. And I reckon at the end, we should take a, a little view of the, the sweat at the end, the sweat count. Because he, uh, he is dripping like a tap at the moment. He's got 10 more seconds. This is a one loop, you guys are doing four loops, you just keep, keep it rotating as it moves through. Last one, boom! All right, there we have it, it's look evidence. at the sweat, evidence. look at the sweat, look at that, that's one round, all right? So you can imagine three more rounds, the man is in a puddle, he is submerged, and uh, there we have the assassinator part two. What did we think? Love it. Enjoy it, guys.